pickups and during the Labor Day sales event, make no monthly payments for 90 days. See your Southern Chevy dealers. My brother Chuck and I grew up in a close-knit family. We knew that whatever happened to any of us affected all of us. We understand that family bond as well as anyone else. That's why we're so passionate in our fight for justice. If you or a loved one has been hurt, your problems become our problems. Fair and Farah, protecting you and your family since 1979. Introduce heroes at Papa John's. We took Papa's best quality meats and cheeses and stuffed them into oven baked bread for a taste and price that won't let you down. Pick one up today for $6.99. Better ingredients, better pizza, and now better sandwiches. Papa John's. The First Alert 7-Day Forecast, on air, online, and on the go. Brought to you by ViStar. If you believe that having a live help call center that's open every day of the week is better, join ViStar. A live look now, and this is from inside the eye of Hurricane Dorian. This is some new video taken by an Air Force hurricane hunter today. Dorian, a powerful Category 5 storm, and we're going to have a closer look at the storm's track just minutes away. All right, Clay County Schools will be closed Tuesday and Wednesday. The Emergency Operations Center is now partially activated to monitor conditions as they continue to change. And Nassau County has called for mandatory evacuation starting at 8 a.m. tomorrow for zones A, B, and F. And the shelters are opening tonight. Let's get out to Action News Jacks. Brittany Verner, she's live at the Nassau County Emergency Operations Center there in Yulee. And Brittany, evacuation orders there begin in those three zones again tomorrow morning. That's right. County leaders are calling for a mandatory evacuation in some areas as early as tomorrow morning. They are urging people, like you just said, to evacuate zones A, C, and F to evacuate tomorrow morning at 8 a.m. This is a map of those zones. Zone A is marked in red. That's Amelia Island and other low-lying, flood-prone areas. Zone C is orange and zone F is marked here in blue. The county has already begun closing the beach access points to vehicle traffic and also putting sand in front of access points to prevent storm surge. Two shelters will also be open tomorrow. Hilliard Middle Senior High School is a special needs shelter, and Callahan Middle School is a pet friendly shelter. In addition to the stated zones, anyone living in low lying areas, mobile homes, or manufactured houses, or otherwise have concerns about their safety, may also utilize our shelters. Now, the special needs shelter can hold up to 155 patients and their caregivers. The general population shelter can hold up to 528 people. If you don't know if you live in an evacuation zone, we have a link on our website at actionnewsjacks.com. County leaders are urging neighbors in the Nassau County area to take this evacuation seriously as we await the arrival of Hurricane Dorian. Reporting live in Nassau County, Brittany Verner, CBS 47, Fox 30, Action News Jacks. Nassau County is providing shelters at 8 a.m. on Monday at places like Hilliard Middle School. The facility will be used as a special needs shelter. And as Brittany said, Callahan Middle School will be used as a pet friendly shelter. The Glen County Board of Commissioners will hold a meeting at 7.30 tonight to consider declaring a state of emergency. We will stream that meeting for you live on actionnewsjacks.com. Helicopters from NAS Jax and Naval Station Mayport are being moved to different locations in the southeast and mid-Atlantic. The commanding officer of helicopter Maritime Strike 40 tells Action News Jax its Atlantic Strike Wing is launching between 60 and 70 helicopters from NAS Jax and Naval Station Mayport. The helicopters are being taken to Maxwell Air Force Base in Alabama and to Norfolk, Virginia. The Florida National Guard is also getting ready ahead of Dorian. These are new pictures of members from the 146th Signal Battalion working on vehicles at the Armory in Jacksonville. Now certified Jacksonville's most accurate weather forecast, Action News Jack's first alert weather. And Mike, I know you've been drilling down this for us, but a lot mm -hmm. of people keep asking here in the Jacksonville area, when will we start to really feel the impacts? Because sure. we have rain, but this is not related to Dorian. Right, and we will through tomorrow and Tuesday. Kind of sets the table for that flooding as Dorian actually makes its closest appro approach, unfortunately, which we've seen happen several mm -hmm. times in the last few years. So we really see the peak impacts, Tanique and John, in here later Tuesday, Tuesday night through Wednesday, and then a very quick, dramatic improvement shortly thereafter. Uh, a little less than 400 miles away now from Jacksonville as uh, 
Quite literally, Hurricane Dorian is knifing through the northern Bahamas with winds of 185 miles per hour and what appears to be the at least tied for the strongest landfall on record of any Atlantic hurricane in a 2 p.m. landfall at Great Abaco Island and now cutting its way westbound here. We're going to zoom in a little bit. Freeport sits on the west end there. And look at this. There's the eye moving into uh, Sweeting Key and then working its way westbound across High Rock. And then there's Freeport all in line for this eye wall, this violent eye wall, the kind of which this is, this is several magnitudes stronger than Michael as a cat five that hit our panhandle back in October. So the move will be to the west and then that very slow movement and that starts to we start to see indications of that now with it down to around five miles per hour moving at five miles per hour. Then the turn just offshore right on up into or very near the Carolinas thereafter. So we'll zoom in a little bit. Here's where the hurricane warnings are already in effect. It's not because the eye is necessarily forecast to make contact with land but it's close enough that hurricane force winds will be possible if not right uh, inland a little bit at the beaches or the coast there in southeast Florida. And then just east of Jacksonville by about 50 to 60 miles though. At 2 o'clock Wednesday afternoon, we'll likely see some tropical storm watches at least issued for our coastal areas soon. And then it's on off quickly to the north and east. And that's why we'll have such rapid improvement. And so check out where you are on this map, where you live. And again, we'll be starting going county by county. But this is at 11 o'clock Tuesday evening. And you can see the first uh, tropical storm force winds are starting to get to near St. Augustine. Realize it is not a perfect circle, the winds from a, uh, a hurricane. So while these are pretty smooth, realize there'll be areas that are getting some wind, other areas that are not within the yellow. But these are tropical storm force wind gusts primarily. And you can see when you get west of I-95, the winds are going to drop off dramatically. And the hurricane force winds are offshore. This is at noon Wednesday. It's approximate closest approach to most of northeastern Florida. And then beginning to push on off to the north and northeast. So it's a beach beating, windy at the coast, breezy inland, lesser impacts inland west of I-95 unless that track changes, which is critical. Brings back memories of just a few years ago, Corey. Yeah, Mike, this is Matthew, which Doreen is similar to. You know, we're looking at the tracks here. Now, obviously, the one big difference here is Matthew started out well to the south, basically made a move to the north, and we have Dorian, which we are watching to our southeast. It's also important to note, no two storms are exactly the same. So Matthew brought a lot of impacts to the coast. Dorian, given the current track, is going to do the same thing. That rip current risk, High, very high over the next couple of days. Tomorrow, northeast winds 15 to 20 knots, surf 5 to 8 feet. It only gets higher. Tuesday, very high rip current risk, those waves 7 to 11 feet. And then even up from there, Wednesday, northeast winds 20 to 40 knots, shifting to the northwest, and those that surf 15 to 20 plus feet. Things are going to try to get back to normal, at least start to get on the right road. Thursday, a high rip current risk, a west wind, and that surf two to four feet, potentially a little bit higher than that. Mike, the question a lot of folks I'm sure are asking, what do we do? Yeah, what can we do tomorrow? Tomorrow's a holiday, and for many, it's Labor Day. For some, it, it's not anymore a holiday. But just some quick things you can do. Clear the storm drains and gutters. We've been talking about that for days. Secure patio furniture or anything that might blow around outside, especially for five to the beaches. Heed evacuation orders first and foremost. If it's a mandatory evacuation, then that's exactly what you should do. Stay tuned to Action News Jacks, of course, News 104.5 WOKV and ActionNewsJacks.com for updates on Dorian round the clock. Over the next seven days, then, we will see some rain tomorrow and Tuesday in advance of Dorian in the upper 80s, the very high rip current risk, the breeze moving in uh, as well. Dorian, its closest approach on Wednesday, and then quickly we break out into sunshine and it turns very hot for the end of the week right on into the upcoming weekend. 90 plus, but much drier and much calmer overall. ActionNewsJax.com. Download for free the First Alert weather app. All right, one quick update on evacuations. Naval Station Mayport Commander just releasing that they are going to be evacuating the base at 8 o'clock tomorrow morning. Meanwhile, defending the coast, what people in one beach community are counting on to protect their homes from Dorian. You got your homework? Yeah. Yeah? Hey. What's the role of a car company? To take your kids to and from school? Don't forget your science project. We think it can be something bigger. Everybody take your seats. Uh, today we're going to be...
This summer, Volkswagen is supporting America's teachers. Visit your VW dealer to learn how you can join in. Hurry in during the Volkswagen Drive Bigger event and lease a value-packed 2019 Tiguan S for just $189 a month. Longhorn's Cookout isn't something you want to miss. Because that'd mean missing our fire-grilled ribeye. Besides, to turn a meal into a feast. Hanging with your closest friends. And missing all that would be, you know, sad. Come in for our limited-time Longhorn Cookout with the unforgettable 18-ounce fire-grilled outlaw ribeye. Longhorn's new mixed grill and our famous full-rack baby back ribs with steakhouse mac and cheese. That's how steak is done. Longhorn Steakhouse and fake steak. Our firm was built on the trust of our clients, and we've had to earn that trust. And we earned that trust one case at a time. They earned my respect just by giving me all the options I had in front of me. I had a person in my corner that I could trust that had my back. Fair and fair was dead when I needed them. I trust Fair and Fair. They gave me that confidence that they would take care of me. You earn trust by keeping your word with the client. Fair and Fair, here for you, here for good. Really? Hey guys. We like the red. It's car buying season at Nissan's Bottom Line Model Year End Event. Get the bottom line on the last of our 2019s, like the Tech Advanced Altima and Rogue. Hurry in for Model Year End Savings on our full line. Now save up to 3500 on the 2019 Altima or get up to 1000 holiday bonus cash on top of existing offers. Tracking Dorian. Download the first alert weather app now. Action News Jack's tracking Hurricane Dorian. There are mandatory evacuations starting tomorrow morning at 8 o'clock for evacuation zones A and B in Duval and St. John's County, A, C, and F in Nassau County, and of course, Naval Station Mayport as well. Today in St. John's County, the county dumped sand and rocks making a barrier at the end of Porpoise Point. And county leaders hope that it will prevent a lot of that water from making its way into that neighborhood. Amy Gilbert, who lives just down the road, says she's worried about storm surge. Hurricane Dorian again taking a similar path uh, from a previous storm from Matthew that when homes went collapsing right into the ocean. This weekend, as Dorian gets closer, stay with Action News Jax and the First Alert Weather Team. Tracking as Dorian approaches Florida on TV and on the First Alert Weather app. Attention U.S. military members who served between 2000 and 2015. The military use 3M earplugs distributed were proven defective. If you served between 2003 and 2015 and have been diagnosed with hearing loss or tinnitus, you may be entitled to significant compensation. This claim is not against the U.S. military. Let FARA and FARA help you fight to hold 3M accountable. Since 1949, Bozard Ford Lincoln has been proud to serve St. Augustine. Because of your support, we've been awarded Ford's Triple Crown, its highest honor, and a representation of our core beliefs. Honesty, integrity, employee, and customer satisfaction. The decades of your patronage is allowing us to expand and serve you even better. With 100 new jobs being created and the contribution of over $30 million in state and local taxes, we will remain committed to supporting the needs of the community. Our expanded facility will have over 90 service bays, an on-site daycare for the children of our employees, and a Ford's Garage restaurant that's open to the public for all to enjoy. We are excited to provide an unparalleled experience for all who walk through our doors. We are Bozard Ford Lincoln. We're driven to inspire. My mom hired Bath Fitter to make me a new bath. My friend Jimmy said that when he got a new bath, it took Forever. Jimmy didn't have to take a bath for a month. I didn't even get to miss one bath. It's just not fair. Bath Fitter will remodel your bath in as little as one day. We've got over 2 million satisfied customers and 35 years experience. Call now or visit bathfitter.com for a free in-home consultation. We'll see you tonight at 10 and 11. People are really excited. Toyota's National Clearance Event. Congrats. Get 0% APR for 60 months plus $500 bonus cash on a new 2019 Toyota Camry. Toyota, let's go places. There was a time 
when we looked at the world as children and saw the joy in every brook, rock, and tree. There was a time when we played hide-and-seek from our schedules and put daydreaming in our daily routine. There was a time when our lives felt like they were only just beginning. It was a boundless time. It was yesterday at Biltmore. redesigned Jeep Cherokee has best-in-class technology and over 80 safety and security features. So the further you go, connected you'll feel. Feel free to do it all at the Jeep Labor Day sales event with $1,000 bonus cash or financing at 17% below MSRP on select 2019 Cherokee Latitude models at dealer stock the longest. If a car leaves the office at 5.46 p.m., picks up two different kids at two different locations, makes one U-turn because the second child forgot one item at the second location, passes three fast food joints looking for one meal that feeds four with zero time to spare, what is the quickest way to get a quality family meal? The Publix Deli. With delicious, ready-to-enjoy meals, every option is the right answer. Now that's everyday easy. Publix, where shopping is a pleasure. The final days to get a great deal on a new Toyota are here. Save on the last of the 2019s while there's still time. Guys, I have three seconds left. Release a new 2019 Toyota Highlander LE for just $2.29 a month for 36 months. Toyota, let's go places. We have seen major flooding in the past. Bridget, we found a couple who has wrapped their home entirely in plastic. You ever seen something like this? I sure haven't. They literally took heavy duty plastic. They've wrapped their entire home. They're reinforcing it with duct tape and about 300 sandbags. They're going to wrap this around their entire home, hoping this is going to keep the water out. In hurricanes Matthew and Irma, Davis Shores saw devastating flooding. Many rebuilt their homes on stilts. With Hurricane Dorian churning as a Category 5, people are taking some unique precautions. We just started out by doing six mil plastic all around the house. Brittany Vidal is plastic wrapping her home, securing it with close to 300 sandbags and duct tape. I think we're only on roll three. She's lived through Matthew and Irma. Her home flooded both storms. Now she's considering raising her home, but trying the plastic wrap for now. Hopefully our barricade has done, will do something for us this year, but at least we can immediately start getting fans, get things going. Vidal lives in what is considered A. Zones A and B are made up of close to 149,000 people who were asked to evacuate. Vidal says for now she's staying put. And if you are in zones A or B here in St. John's County, you're asked to start evacuating soon. First responders also told me today that if flooding becomes, if the conditions become too dangerous and they're not able to get to you, you might be stuck out here on your own. In Davis Shores, Bridget Matters, CBS 47 Action News, Jax. Well, I hope they don't need the plastic, but I will be uh, eager to see how it works. Today, power crews from Austin, Texas, arrived to back up JEA crews in anticipation of outages from Dorian. FPL has dozens of power trucks and crews in Lake City waiting to see where they will be needed. This is video of those teams. They also have crews at Daytona International Speedway. I'm Action News Jack's First Alert Chief Meteorologist Mike Burris. The visible satellite photograph showing the hurricane still plowing through the Bahamas yet. I'll color this for you, if you will, an IR, IR map here in just a minute. What we can expect locally certainly will be high rip current risk, high tides, building surf and winds. I'll break it all down for you here in just a few minutes. Protecting Porpoise Point, the new defense against storm surge that some people are counting on. Plus, getting out of harm's way, how the military is getting ready for the storm. And we will be live in Nassau County coming up after the break. You can see Jacksonville Beach there looks beautiful right now. But again, it's empty as people are heeding the warnings. Hurricane Dorian on its way. The final roster is set. Now 16 games stand in the way of a Jaguar playoff run. The Action Sports Jacks 2019 Jaguars preview special. Wednesday at 9 only on CBS 47. Sponsored by Farrah and Farrah.
Be prepared with the 2019 Action News Jacks Hurricane Survival Guide. From hurricane proofing your home to the life saving items you need, protect your family. Download your copy at actionnewsjacks.com today. Sponsored by Public Supermarkets. Now buy a new Tucson with 0% APR for 72 months or up to $3,000 cash back. It's the final days of the Hyundai Epic Summer Clearance. See your Hyundai dealer now through September 3rd. At Badcock Home Furniture and More, Bill knew his wife would shop forever, so he got comfortable. So comfortable, he never got up. Score big at Badcock Home Furniture and More with up to 50% off store-wide. Plus, choose zero interest and zero down or an extra 10% off your purchase and enter to win the perfect game day package. All with your style, our credit. Only at Badcock Home Furniture and More. I'm looking at that truck. Wow. That's awesome. This Labor Day, everyone's excited about Chevrolet. Oh, wow. They're all really cool cars. Ooh, I love it. I can't stop staring at it. Ride out the summer in a new Chevrolet this Labor Day. Wow. Well, it's time to upgrade. Get 0% financing for 72 months plus $2,000 on all 2019 Silverado Double Cab pickups. And during the Labor Day sales event, make no monthly payments for 90 days. See your Southern Chevy dealers. My brother Chuck and I grew up in a close-knit family. We knew that whatever happened to any of us affected all of us. We understand that family bond as well as anyone else. That's why we're so passionate in our fight for justice. If you or a loved one has been hurt, your problems become our problems. Farrah and Farrah, protecting you and your family since 1979. Introduce here. Heroes at Papa John's. We took Papa's best quality meats and cheeses and stuffed them into oven baked bread for a taste and price that won't let you down. Pick one up today for $6.99. Better ingredients, better pizza, and now better sandwiches. Papa John's. The first alert seven day forecast on air, online, and on the go. Brought to you by ViStar. If you believe that having a live help call center that's open every day of the week is better, join ViStar. A live look now, and this is from inside the eye of Hurricane Dorian. This is some new video taken by an Air Force hurricane hunter today. Dorian, a powerful Category 5 storm, and we're going to have a closer look at the storm's track just minutes away. All right, Clay County Schools will be closed Tuesday and Wednesday. The Emergency Operations Center is now partially activated to monitor conditions as they continue to change. And Nassau County has called for mandatory evacuation starting at 8 a.m. tomorrow for zones A and F. And the shelters are opening tonight. Let's get out to Action News Jacks. Brittany Verner, she's live at the Nassau County Emergency Operations Center there in Yulee. And Brittany, evacuation orders there begin in those three zones again tomorrow morning. That's right. County leaders are calling for a mandatory evacuation in some areas as early as tomorrow morning. They are urging people, like you just said, to evacuate zones A, C, and F to evacuate tomorrow morning at 8 a.m. This is a map of those zones. Zone A is marked in red. That's Amelia Island and other low-lying, flood-prone areas. Zone C is orange and zone F is marked here in blue. The county has already begun closing the beach access points to vehicle traffic and also putting sand in front of access points to prevent storm surge. Two shelters will also be open tomorrow. Hilliard Middle Senior High School is a special needs shelter, and Callahan Middle School is a pet friendly shelter. In addition to the stated zones, anyone in little flying areas, mobile homes, or manufactured houses, or otherwise have concerns about their safety may also utilize our shelters. Now, the special needs shelter can hold up to 155 patients and their caregivers. The general population shelter can hold up to 528 people. If you don't know if you live in an evacuation zone, we have a link on our website at actionnewsjacks.com. County leaders are urging neighbors in the Nassau County area to take this evacuation seriously as we await the arrival of Hurricane Dorian. Reporting live in Nassau County, Brittany Verner, CBS 47, Fox 30, Action News Jacks. Nassau County is providing shelters at 8 a.m. on Monday at places like Hilliard Middle School. The facility will be used as a special needs shelter. And as Brittany said, Callahan Middle School will be used as a pet 
friendly shelter. The Glen County Board of Commissioners will hold a meeting at 7:30 tonight to consider declaring state of emergency. We will stream that meeting for you live on actionnewsjax.com. Helicopters from NAS Jax and Naval Station Mayport are being moved to different locations in the southeast and mid-Atlantic. The commanding officer of helicopter Maritime Strike 40 tells Action News Jax its Atlantic Strike Wing is launching between 60 and 70 helicopters from NAS Jax and Naval Station Mayport. The helicopters are being taken to Maxwell Air Force Base in Alabama and to Norfolk, Virginia. The Florida National Guard is also getting ready ahead of Dorian. These are new pictures of members from the 146th Signal Battalion working on vehicles at the Armory in Jacksonville. Now certified Jacksonville's most accurate weather forecast. Action News Jax first alert weather. And Mike, I know you've been drilling down this for us, but a lot mm -hmm. of people keep asking here in the Jacksonville area, when will we start to really feel the impacts? Because sure. we have rain, but this is not related to Dorian. Right, and we will. Tuesday kind of sets the table for that flooding as Dorian actually makes its closest appro approach, unfortunately, which we've seen happen several mm -hmm. times in the last few years. So we really see the peak impacts, Tanique and John, in here later Tuesday, Tuesday night through Wednesday, and then a very quick, dramatic improvement shortly thereafter. Uh, a little less than 400 miles away now from Jacksonville as uh, quite literally Hurricane Dorian is knifing through the northern Bahamas with winds of 185 miles per hour and what appears to be the at least tied for the strongest landfall on record of any Atlantic hurricane in a 2 p.m. landfall at Great Abaco Island and now cutting its way westbound here. We're going to zoom in a little bit. Freeport sits on the west end there. And look at this. There's the eye moving into uh, Sweeting Key and then working its way westbound across High Rock. And then there's Freeport, all in line for this eye wall, this violent eye wall, the kind of which this is, this is. Several magnitudes stronger than Michael as a cat hit our panhandle back in October. So the move will be to the west, and then that very slow movement, and that starts to we start to see indications of that now with it down to around five miles per hour, moving at five miles per hour. Then the turn just offshore, right on up into or very near the Carolinas thereafter. So we'll zoom in a little bit. Here's where the hurricane warnings are already in effect. It's not because the eye is necessarily forecast to make contact with land, but it's close enough that hurricane force winds will be possible, if not right uh, inland a little bit at the beaches or the coast there in southeast Florida. And then just east of Jacksonville by about 50 to 60 miles, though, at 2 o'clock Wednesday afternoon, we'll likely see some tropical storm watches at least issued for our coastal areas soon. And then it's on off quickly to the north and east, and that's why we'll have such rapid improvement. And so check out where you are on this map, where you live. And again, we'll be starting going county by county. But this is at 11 o'clock Tuesday evening, and you can see the first uh, tropical storm force winds are starting to get to near St. Realize it is not a perfect circle, the winds from a, uh, a hurricane. So while these are pretty smooth, realize there'll be areas that are getting some wind, other areas that are not within the yellow. But these are tropical storm force wind gusts primarily. And you can see when you get west of I-95, the winds are going to drop off dramatically. And the hurricane force winds are offshore. This is at noon Wednesday. It's approximate closest approach to most of northeastern Florida. And then beginning to push on off to the north. And northeast. So it's a beach beating, windy at the coast, breezy inland, lesser impacts inland west of I 95, unless that track changes, which is critical. Brings back memories of just a few years ago, Corey. Yeah, Mike, this is Matthew, which Doreen is similar to. You know, we're looking at the tracks here now. Obviously, the one big difference here is Matthew started out well to the south, basically made a move to the north, and we have Dorian, which we are watching to our southeast. It's also important to note, no two storms are exactly the same, though Matthew brought a lot of impacts to the coast. Dorian, given the current track, is going to do the same thing. That rip current risk, high, very high, over the next couple of days. Tomorrow, northeast winds 15 to 20 knots, surf. Five to eight feet. It only gets higher. Tuesday, very high rip current risk. Those waves seven to eleven feet. And then even up from there, Wednesday, northeast winds twenty to forty knots, shifting to the northwest. And those that surf fifteen to twenty plus feet. Things are going to try to get back to normal, at least start to get on the right road. Thursday, a high rip current risk, a west wind, and that surf two to four feet, potentially a little bit higher than that. Mike, the question a lot of folks I'm sure are asking: What do we do? 
Yeah, what can we do tomorrow? Tomorrow's a holiday, and for many, it's Labor Day. For some, it's not anymore a holiday. But just some quick things you can do. Clear the storm drains and gutters. We've been talking about that for days. Secure patio furniture or anything that might blow around outside, especially from five to the beaches. Heed evacuation orders, first and foremost. If it's a mandatory evacuation, then that's exactly what you should do. Stay tuned to Action News Jacks, of course, News 104.5 WOKV and ActionNewsJacks.com for updates on Dorian round the clock. Over the next seven days, then, we will see some rain tomorrow and Tuesday in advance of Dorian in the upper 80s, the very high rip current risk, the breeze moving in uh, as well. Dorian, its closest approach on Wednesday, and then quickly we break out into sunshine and it turns very hot for the end of the Week right on into the upcoming weekend, 90 plus, but much drier and much calmer overall. ActionNewsJax.com. Download for free the First Alert Weather app. All right, one quick update on evacuations. Naval Station Mayport Commander just releasing that they are going to be evacuating the base at 8 o'clock tomorrow morning. Meanwhile, defending the coast, what people in one beach community are counting on to protect their homes from Dorian. Yeah. Hey. What's the role of a car company? To take your kids to and from school? Don't forget your science project. We think it can be something bigger. Everybody take your seats. Uh, today we're going to This summer, Volkswagen is supporting America's teachers. Visit your VW dealer to learn how you can join in. Hurry in during the Volkswagen Drive Bigger event and lease a value-packed 2019 Tiguan S for just 189 a month. Longhorn's cookout isn't something you want to miss. Because that'd mean missing our fire grilled ribeye. Besides, to turn a meal into a feast. Hanging with your closest friends. And missing all that would be, you know, sad. Come in for our limited time Longhorn cookout with the unforgettable 18 ounce fire grilled outlaw ribeye. Longhorn's new mixed grill. And our famous full rack baby back ribs with steakhouse mac and cheese. That's how steak is done. Longhorn Steakhouse. You can't fake steak. Our firm was built on the trust of our clients, and we've had to earn that trust. And we earned that trust one case at a time. They earned my respect just by giving me all the options I had in front of me. I had a person in my corner that I could trust that had my back. Fair and Fair was dead when I needed them. I trust Fair and Fair. They gave me that confidence that they would take care of me. You earn trust by keeping your word with the client. Fair and Fair, here for you, here for good. Guys, we like the red. It's car buying season at Nissan's Bottom Line Model Year End Event. Get the bottom line on the last of our 2019s, like the Tech Advanced Altima and Rogue. Hurry in for Model Year End savings on our full line. Now save up to 3,500 on the 2019 Altima, or get up to 1,000 holiday bonus cash on top of existing offers. Tracking Dorian. Download the First Alert Weather App now. Action News Jacks tracking Hurricane Dorian. There are mandatory evacuations starting tomorrow morning at 8 o'clock for evacuation zones A and B in Duval and St. John's County, A, C, and F in Nassau County, and of course, Naval Station Mayport as well. Today in St. John's County, the county dumped sand and rocks, making a barrier at the end of Porpoise Point. And county leaders hope that it will prevent a lot of that water from making its way into that neighborhood. Amy Gilbert, who lives just down the road, says she's worried about storm surge. Hurricane Dorian again taking a similar path uh, from a previous storm from Matthew that when homes went collapsing right into the ocean. This weekend, as Dorian gets closer, stay with Action News Jacks and the First Alert Weather Team. Tracking as Dorian approaches Florida on TV and on the First Alert Weather app. Attention U.S. military members who served between 2000 and 2015. The military use 3M earplugs distributed were proven defective. If you served between 2003 and 2015 and have been diagnosed with hearing loss or tinnitus, you may be entitled to significant compensation. This claim is not against the U.S. military. Let FARA and FARA help you fight to hold 3M accountable. Since 1949, Bozard Ford Lincoln has been proud to serve St. Augustine. Because of your support, we've been awarded Ford's Triple Crown, its highest honor, and a representation of our core beliefs. Honesty, integrity, employee, and customer satisfaction. 
The decades of your patronage is allowing us to expand and serve you even better. With 100 new jobs being created and the contribution of over $30 million in state and local taxes, we will remain committed to supporting the needs. Get 0% APR for 60 months plus $500 bonus cash on a new 2019 Toyota Camry. Toyota, let's go places. There was a time when we looked at the world as children and saw the joy in every brook, rock, and tree. There was a time when we played hide and seek from our schedules and put daydreaming in our daily routine. There was a time when our lives felt like they were only just beginning. It was a boundless time. It was yesterday at Biltmore. One, two, three. I need to the redesigned Jeep Cherokee has best-in-class technology and over 80 safety and security features. So the further you go, connected, you'll feel. Feel free to do it all at the Jeep Labor Day sales event with $1,000 bonus cash. Or financing at 17% below MSRP on select 2019 Cherokee Latitude models at dealer stock the longest. If a car leaves the office at 5.46 p.m., picks up two different kids at two different locations, makes one U-turn because the second child forgot one item at the second location, passes three fast food joints looking for one meal that feeds four with zero time to spare, what is the quickest way to get a quality family meal? The Publix Deli. With delicious, ready-to-enjoy meals, every option is the right answer. Now that's everyday easy. Publix, where shopping is a pleasure. The final days to get a great deal on a new Toyota are here. Save on the last of the 2019s while there's still time. Guys, I have three seconds left. Lease a new 2019 Toyota Highlander LE for just $2.29 a month for 36 months. Toyota, let's go places. We have seen major flooding in the past. Bridget, we found a couple who has wrapped their home entirely in plastic. You ever seen something like this. I sure haven't. They literally took heavy duty plastic. They've wrapped their entire home. They're reinforcing it with duct tape and about 300 sandbags. They're going to wrap this around their entire home, hoping this is going to keep the water out. In hurricanes Matthew and Irma, Davis Shore saw devastating flooding. Many rebuilt their homes on stilts. With Hurricane Dorian churning as a Category 5, people are taking some unique precautions. We just started out by doing six mil plastic all around the house. Brittany Vidal is plastic wrapping her home, securing it with close to 300 sandbags and duct tape. I think we're only on roll three. She's lived through Matthew and Irma. Her home flooded both storms. Now she's considering raising her home, but trying the plastic wrap for now. Well, hopefully our barricade has done, will do something for us this year, but at least we can immediately start getting fans, get things going. Vidal lives in what is considered A. Zones A and B are made up of close to 149,000 people who were asked to evacuate. Vidal says for now she's staying put. And if you are in zones A or B here in St. John's County, you're asked to start evacuating soon. First responders also told me today that if flooding becomes, if the conditions become too dangerous and they're not able to get to you, you might be stuck out here on your own. In Davis Shores, Bridget Matters, CBS 47 Action News, Jax.
Well, I hope they don't need the plastic, but I will be uh, eager to see how it works. Today, power crews from Austin, Texas, arrived to back up JEA crews in anticipation of outages from Dorian. FPL has dozens of power trucks and crews in Lake City waiting to see where they will be needed. This is video of those teams. They also have crews at Daytona International Speedway. I'm Action News Jack's first alert, Chief Meteorologist Mike Burris. The visible satellite photograph showing the hurricane still plowing through the Bahamas yet. I'll color this for you, if you will, an IR, IR map here in just a minute. What we can expect locally certainly will be high rip current risk, high tides, building surf and winds. I'll break it all down for you here in just a few minutes. Protecting Porpoise Point, the new defense against storm surge that some people are counting on. Plus, getting out of harm's way, how the military is getting ready for the storm. And we will be live in Nassau County coming up after the break. You can see Jacksonville Beach there looks beautiful right now. But again, it's empty as people are heeding the warnings. Hurricane Dorian on its way. The final roster is set. Now 16 games stand in the way of a Jaguar playoff run. The Action Sports Jacks 2019 Jaguars preview special. Wednesday at 9 only on CBS 47. Sponsored by Farrah and Farrah. Be prepared. 2019 Action News Jacks Hurricane Survival Guide. From hurricane proofing your home to the life saving items you need, protect your family. Download your copy at actionnewsjacks.com today. Sponsored by Public Supermarkets. Now buy a new Tucson with 0% APR for 72 months or up to $3,000 cash back. It's the final days of the Hyundai Epic Summer Clearance. See your Hyundai dealer now through September 3rd. At Badcock Home Furniture and more, Bill knew his wife would shop forever, so he got comfortable. So comfortable, he never got up. Score big at Badcock Home Furniture and more with up to 50% off store-wide. Plus, choose zero interest and zero down or an extra 10% off your purchase and enter to win the perfect game day package. All with your style, our credit. Only at Badcock Home Furniture and more. I'm looking at that truck. Wow. That's awesome. This Labor Day, everyone's excited about Chevrolet. Oh, wow. They're all really cool cars. Ooh, I love it. I can't stop staring at it. Ride out the summer in a new Chevrolet this Labor Day. Wow. Love it. It's time to upgrade. Get 0% financing for 72 months plus $2,000 on all 2019 Silverado Double Cab pickups. And during the Labor Day sales event, make no monthly payments for 90 days. See your Southern Chevy dealers. My brother Chuck and I grew up in a close-knit family. We knew that whatever happened to any of us affected all of us. We understand that family bond as well as anyone else. That's why we're so passionate in our fight for justice. If you or a loved one has been hurt, your problems become our problems. Fair and Farah, protecting you and your family since 1979. Introducing the new heroes at Papa John's. We took Papa's best quality meats and cheeses and stuffed them into oven baked bread for a taste and price that won't let you down. Pick one up today for $6.99. Better ingredients, better pizza, now better sandwiches. Papa John's. The first alert seven day forecast on air, online, and on the go. Brought to you by ViStar. If you believe that having a live help call center that's open every day of the week is better, join ViStar. A live look now, and this is from inside the eye of Hurricane Dorian. This is some new video taken by an Air Force hurricane hunter today. Dorian, a powerful Category 5 storm, and we're going to have a closer look at the storm's track just minutes away. All right, Clay County Schools will be closed Tuesday and Wednesday. The Emergency Operations Center is now partially activated to monitor conditions as they continue to change. And Nassau County has called for mandatory evacuation starting at 8 a.m. tomorrow for zones A and F. And the shelters are opening tonight. Let's get out to Action News Jacks. Brittany Verner, she's live at the Nassau County Emergency Operations Center there in Yulee. And Brittany, evacuation orders there begin in those three zones again tomorrow morning. 
That's right. County leaders are calling for a mandatory evacuation in some areas as early as tomorrow morning. They are urging people, like you just said, to evacuate zones A, C, and F to evacuate tomorrow morning at 8 a.m. This is a map of those zones. Zone A is marked in red. That's Amelia Island and other low-lying, flood-prone areas. Zone C is orange and zone F is marked here in blue. The county has already begun closing the beach access points to vehicle traffic and also putting sand in front of access points to prevent storm surge. Two shelters will also be open tomorrow. Hilliard Middle Senior High School is a special needs shelter and Callahan Middle School is a pet friendly shelter. In addition to the stated zones, anyone living in flying areas, mobile homes or manufactured houses or otherwise have concerns about their safety may also utilize our shelters. Now, the special needs shelter can hold up to 155 patients and their caregivers. The general population shelter can hold up to 528 people. If you don't know if you live in an evacuation zone, we have a link on our website at actionnewsjacks.com. County leaders are urging neighbors in the Nassau County area to take this evacuation seriously as we await the arrival of Hurricane Dorian. Reporting live in Nassau County, Brittany Verner, CBS 47, Fox 30, Action News Jacks. Nassau County is providing shelters at 8 a.m. on Monday at places like Hilliard Middle School. The facility will be used as a special needs shelter. And as Brittany said, Callahan Middle School will be used as a pet friendly shelter. The Glen County Board of Commissioners will hold a meeting at 7.30 tonight to consider declaring a state of emergency. We will stream that meeting for you live on actionnewsjacks.com. Helicopters from NAS JAX and Naval Station Mayport are being moved to different locations in the southeast and mid-Atlantic. The commanding officer of helicopter Maritime Strike 40 tells Action News JAX its Atlantic Strike Wing is launching between 60 and 70 helicopters from NAS JAX and Naval Station Mayport. The helicopters are being taken to Maxwell Air Force Base in Alabama and to Norfolk, Virginia. The Florida National Guard is also getting ready ahead of Dorian. These are new pictures of members from the 146th Signal Battalion working on vehicles at the Armory in Jacksonville. Now certified Jacksonville's most accurate weather forecast. Action News Jack's first alert weather. And Mike, I know you've been drilling down this for us, but a lot mm -hmm. of people could keep asking here in the Jacksonville area, when will we start to really feel the impacts? Because sure. we have rain, but this is not related to Dorian. Right, and we will. Tuesday kind of sets the table for that flooding as Dorian actually makes its closest appro approach, unfortunately, which we've seen happen several mm -hmm. times in the last few years. So we really see the peak impacts, Tanique and John, in here later Tuesday, Tuesday night through Wednesday, and then a very quick, dramatic improvement shortly thereafter. Uh, a little less than 400 miles away now from Jacksonville as uh, quite literally Hurricane Dorian is knifing through the northern Bahamas with winds of 185 miles per hour and what appears to be the at least tied for the strongest landfall on record of any Atlantic hurricane in a 2 p.m. landfall at Great Abaco Island and now cutting its way westbound here. We're going to zoom in a little bit. Freeport sits on the west end there. And look at this. There's the eye moving into uh, Sweeting Key and then working its way westbound across High Rock. And then there's Freeport all in line for this eye wall, this violent eye wall, the kind of which this is this is several magnitudes stronger than Michael as a cat hit our panhandle back in October. So the move will be to the west and then that very slow movement and that starts to we start to see indications of that now with it down to around 5 miles per hour moving at 5 miles per hour. Then the turn just offshore right on up into or very near the Carolinas thereafter. So we'll zoom in a little bit. Here's where the hurricane warnings are already in effect. It's not because the eye is necessarily forecast to make contact with land, but it's close enough that hurricane force winds will be possible if not right uh, inland a little bit at the beaches or the coast there in southeast Florida. And then just east of Jacksonville by about 50 to 60 miles though, at 2 o'clock Wednesday afternoon, we'll likely see some tropical storm watches at least issued for our coastal areas soon. And then it's on and off quickly to the north and east. And that's why we'll have such rapid improvement. And so check out where you are on this map, where you live. And again, we'll be starting going county by county. But this is at 11 o'clock Tuesday evening. And you can see the first uh, tropical storm force winds are starting to get to near St.
hurricane. Realize it is not a perfect circle, the winds from a, uh, a hurricane. So while these are pretty smooth, realize there'll be areas that are getting some wind, other areas that are not within the yellow. But these are tropical storm force wind gusts primarily. And you can see when you get west of I-95, the winds are going to drop off dramatically. And the hurricane force winds are offshore. This is at noon Wednesday. It's approximate closest approach to most of northeastern Florida and then beginning to push on off to the north and northeast. So it's a beach beating, windy at the coast, breezy inland, lesser impacts inland west of I-95 unless that track changes, which is critical. Brings back memories of just a few years ago, Corey. Yeah, Mike, this is Matthew, which Doreen is similar to. You know, we're looking at the tracks here. Now, Obviously, the one big difference here is Matthew started out well to the south, basically made a move to the north, and we have Dorian, which we are watching to our southeast. It's also important to note, no two storms are exactly the same. Matthew brought a lot of impacts to the coast. Dorian, given the current track, is going to do the same thing. That rip current risk, high, very high, over the next couple of days. Tomorrow, northeast winds 15 to 20 knots, surf. Five to eight feet. It only gets higher. Tuesday, very high rip current risk. Those waves seven to 11 feet. And then even up from there, Wednesday, northeast winds 20 to 40 knots, shifting to the northwest. And those that surf 15 to 20 plus feet. Things are going to try to get back to normal, at least start to get on the right road. Thursday, a high rip current risk, a west wind, and that surf two to four feet, potentially a little bit higher than that. Mike, the question a lot of folks I'm sure are asking, what do we do? Yeah, what can we do tomorrow? Tomorrow's a holiday, and for many, it's Labor Day. For some, it, it's not anymore a holiday, but just some quick things you can do. Clear the storm drains and gutters. We've been talking about that for days. Secure patio furniture or anything that might blow around outside, especially from five to the beaches. Heed evacuation orders, first and foremost. If it's a mandatory evacuation, then that's exactly what you should do. Stay tuned to Action News Jacks, of course, News 104.5 WOKV and ActionNewsJacks.com. For updates on Dorian round the clock. Over the next seven days, then, we will see some rain tomorrow and Tuesday in advance of Dorian in the upper 80s, the very high rip current risk, the breeze moving in uh, as well. Dorian, its closest approach on Wednesday, and then quickly we break out into sunshine and it turns very hot for the end of the week right on into the upcoming weekend. 90 plus, but much drier and much calmer overall. ActionNewsJax.com. Download for free the First Alert weather app. All right, one quick update on evacuations. Naval Station Mayport Commander just releasing that they are going to be evacuating the base at 8 o'clock tomorrow morning. Meanwhile, defending the coast, what people in one beach community are counting on to protect their homes from Dorian. You got your homework? Yeah. Yeah? Hey. What's the role of a car company? To take your kids to and from school? Don't forget your science project. We think it can be something bigger. Everybody take your seats. Uh, today we're going to This summer, Volkswagen is supporting America's teachers. Visit your VW dealer to learn how you can join in. Hurry in during the Volkswagen Drive Bigger event and lease a value-packed 2019 Tiguan S for just $189 a month. Longhorn's cookout isn't something you want to miss. Because that'd mean missing our fire-grilled ribeye. Besides, to turn a meal into a feast. Hanging with your closest friends. And missing all that would be, you know, sad. Come in for our limited-time Longhorn Cookout. With the unforgettable 18-ounce fire-grilled outlaw ribeye. Longhorn's new mixed grill. And our famous full-rack baby back ribs with steakhouse mac and cheese. That's how steak is done. Longhorn Steakhouse. Fake steak. Our firm was built on the trust of our clients, and we've had to earn that trust. And we earned that trust one case at a time. They earned my respect just by giving me all the options I had in front of me. I had a person in my corner that I could trust that had my back. Fair and Fair was there when I needed them. I trust Fair and Fair. They gave me that confidence that they would take care of me. You earn trust by keeping your word with the client. Fair and Fair, here for you, here for good. Guys, we like the red. It's car buying season at Nissan's Bottom Line Model Year End Event. Get the bottom line on the last of our 2019s, like the Tech Advanced Altima and Rogue. Hurry in for Model Year End savings on our full line. Now save up to 3,500 on the 2019 Altima, or get up to 1,000 holiday bonus cash on top of existing offers.
Tracking Dorian. Download the First Alert weather app now. Action News Jax tracking Hurricane Dorian. There are mandatory evacuations starting tomorrow morning at 8 o'clock for evacuation zones A and B in Duval and St. John's County, A, C, and F in Nassau County, and of course, Naval Station Mayport as well. Today in St. John's County, the county dumped sand and rocks, making a barrier at the end of Porpoise Point. And county leaders hope that it will prevent a lot of that water from making its way into that neighborhood. Amy Gilbert, who lives just down the road, says she's worried about storm surge. Hurricane Dorian again taking a similar path uh, from a previous storm from Matthew that when homes went collapsing right into the ocean. This weekend, as Dorian gets closer, stay with Action News Jax and the First Alert Weather Team. Tracking as Dorian approaches Florida on TV and on the First Alert Weather app. Attention U.S. military members who served between 2000 and 2015. The military use 3M earplugs distributed were proven defective. If you served between 2003 and 2015 and have been diagnosed with hearing loss or tinnitus, you may be entitled to significant compensation. This claim is not against the U.S. military. Let Farah and Farah help you fight to hold 3M accountable. Since 1949, Bozard Ford Lincoln has been proud to serve St. Augustine. Because of your support, we've been awarded Ford's Triple Crown, its highest honor, and a representation of our core beliefs. Honesty, integrity, employee, and customer satisfaction. The decades of your patronage is allowing us to expand and serve you even better. With 100 new jobs being created and the contribution of over $30 million in state and local taxes, we will remain committed to supporting the need. Playing with a porous offensive line, at least gets a quick fix at left yeah. tackle when he's playing against the Jags they defense. Better win. Uh, this was a win now mentality for a team that is suspect to even win the AFC South. Forget a Super Bowl. Sure, it looks like the Texans and Bill O'Brien have pushed their chips all in. If it doesn't work, jobs will be lost. Now, the Texans did pick up former Jags QB Alex Magoo, signed him to the practice squad. Darn it. That's not a head scratcher. I kind of thought the Jags might try to keep him on their practice squad. And reports are Magoo had enough interest that the Texans paid an upgraded practice squad oh. salary to get, to get him. All right, after Lindy, a former Florida Gators let go over the weekend, Eddie Pinedo is sticking with the Chicago Bears. No place in the league has more eyeballs on their kicker than Chicago. The Bears lost in the playoffs on a double doinker off the leg of Cody Parkey. They have the a highly publicized kicking competition all offseason. Now Pinedo takes over the duties at least to begin things in Chicago. He might not get a lot of rope, though. You better make his kicks right away. How about Atlanta, baby, for Johnny Wolford, the former yeah. Bishop Penny star, then Wake Forest QB, then some NFL tryout guy, then a job on Wall Street awaiting, then the QB for the AAF. Get 0% APR for 60 months, plus $500 bonus cash on a new 2019 Toyota Camry. Toyota, let's go places. There was a time when we looked at the world as children and saw the joy in every brook, rock, and tree. There was a time when we played hide-and-seek from our schedules and put daydreaming in our daily routine. There was a time when our lives felt like they were only just beginning. It was a boundless time. It was yesterday at Biltmore. redesigned Jeep Cherokee has best-in-class technology and over 80 safety and security features. So the further you go, connected, you'll feel. Feel free to do it all at the Jeep Labor Day sales event with $1,000 bonus cash or financing at 17% below MSRP on select 2019 Cherokee Latitude models and dealer stock the longest. If a car leaves the office at 5.46 p.m., picks up two different kids at two different locations, makes one U-turn because the second child forgot one item at the second location, passes three fast food joints looking for one meal that feeds four with zero time to spare, what is the quickest way to get a quality family meal? The Publix Deli. With delicious, ready-to-enjoy meals, every option is the right answer. Now that's everyday easy. Publix, where shopping is a pleasure. The final days to get a great deal on a new Toyota are here. Save on the last of the 2019s while there's still time. Guys, I have three seconds left. Lease a new 2019 Toyota Highlander LE for just $229 a month for 36 months. Toyota, let's go places. 
have seen major flooding in the past. Bridget, you found a couple who has wrapped their home entirely in plastic. Ever seen something like this? I sure haven't. They literally took heavy-duty plastic. They've wrapped their entire home. They're reinforcing it with duct tape and about 300 sandbags. They're going to wrap this around their entire home, hoping this is going to keep the water out. In hurricanes Matthew and Irma, Davis Shores saw devastating flooding. Many rebuilt their homes on stilts. With Hurricane Dorian churning as a Category 5, people are taking some unique precautions. We just started out by doing six mil plastic all around the house. Brittany Vidal is plastic wrapping her home, securing it with close to 300 sandbags and duct tape. I think we're only on roll three. She's lived through Matthew and Irma. Her home flooded both storms. Now she's considering raising her home, but trying the plastic wrap for now. Hopefully our barricade has done, will do something for us this year, but at least we can immediately start getting fans, get things going. Adal lives in what is considered a. Zones A and B are made up of close to 149,000 people who were asked to evacuate. Adal says for now she's staying put. And if you are in zones A or B here in St. John's County, you're asked to start evacuating soon. First responders also told me today that if flooding becomes, if the conditions become too dangerous and they're not able to get to you, you might be stuck out here on your own. In Davis Shores, Bridget Matter, CBS 47 Action News, Jax. Well, I hope they don't need the plastic, but I will be uh, eager to see how it works. Today, power crews from Austin, Texas, arrived to back up JEA crews in anticipation of outages from Dorian. FPL has dozens of power trucks and crews in Lake City waiting to see where they will be needed. This is video of those teams. They also have crews at Daytona International Speedway. I'm Action News Jack's first alert, Chief Meteorologist Mike Burris. The visible satellite photograph showing the hurricane still plowing through the north. Mama's yet. I'll color this for you, if you will, an IR, IR map here in just a minute. What we can expect locally certainly will be high rip current risk, high tides, building surf, and winds. I'll break it all down for you here in just a few minutes. Protecting Porpoise Point, the new defense against storm surge that some people are counting on. Plus, getting out of harm's way, how the military is getting ready for the storm. And we will be live in Nassau County coming up after the break. You can see Jacksonville Beach there looks beautiful right now. But again, it's empty as people are heeding the warnings. Hurricane Dorian on its way. The final roster is set. Now 16 games stand in the way of a Jaguar playoff run. The Action Sports Jacks 2019 Jaguars preview special. Wednesday at 9 only on CBS 47. Sponsored by Farrah and Farrah. Be prepared. 2019 Action News Jacks Hurricane Survival Guide. From hurricane proofing your home to the life saving items you need, protect your family. Download your copy at actionnewsjacks.com today. Sponsored by Public Supermarkets. Now buy a new Tucson with 0% APR for 72 months or up to $3,000 cash back. It's the final days of the Hyundai Epic Summer Clearance. See your Hyundai dealer now through September 3rd. At Badcock Home Furniture and more, Bill knew his wife would shop forever, so he got comfortable. So comfortable, he never got up. Score big at Badcock Home Furniture and more with up to 50% off store wide. Plus, choose zero interest and zero down, or an extra 10% off your purchase, and enter to win the perfect game day package. All with your style, our credit. Only at Badcock Home Furniture and more. I'm looking at that truck. Wow. That's awesome. This Labor Day, everyone's excited about Chevrolet. Oh, wow. They're all really cool cars. Ooh, I love it. I can't stop staring at it. Ride out the summer in a new Chevrolet this Labor Day. Wow. Love it. It's time to upgrade. Get 0% financing for 72 months plus $2,000 on all 2019 Silverado Double Cab pickups. And during the Labor Day sales event, make no monthly payments for 90 days. See your Southern Chevy dealers. My brother Chuck and I grew up in a close-knit family. We knew that whatever happened to any of us affected all of us. We understand that family bond as well as anyone else. That's why we're so passionate in our fight for justice. If you or a loved one has been hurt, 
your problems become our problems. Fair and Farah, protecting you and your family since 1979. Introducing can keep it there longer with lock-in moisture technology. Skin is petal smooth because your best skin starts with Olay. For the first time since announcing his run for president, Joe Biden returns to Colbert. New this week. Wednesday, double eviction week continues <laughs> with the most destructive. We're putting our war paint on. House trashing. <laughs> veto competition ever. My mind is like. And Thursday, buckle up for a full week of Big Brother. Yikes! In one night. I'm just scared. Like, I feel scared. New Big Brother, CBS Wednesday. As Hurricane Dorian pounds the Bahamas, some in Northeast Florida are preparing to get out of the storm's path. Be prepared, be calm about it, but you need to leave. While others are protecting their property, I think we're only on roll three. Using anything they can to protect their homes. Bye. This is Action News Jack special coverage tracking Dorian. And just a few minutes ago, the latest update on Hurricane Dorian was released right before the 11 o'clock hour. The biggest changes right now, we are under a hurricane watch and a storm surge watch with the storm moving ever so slightly off our coast, a little farther east, according to Action News Jack's first alert chief meteorologist, Mike Bursch, who will be breaking down the changes here in just a moment. The Action News Jack's team is standing by to bring you vital information on local evacuation orders, school closings, and curfews. Good evening. I'm John Bachman. And I'm Tanika Hughes. We are going to head over to our First Alert Weather Center with Action News Jack's First Alert Chief Meteorologist, Mike Burrish, breaking down the latest 11 p.m. advisory. Yeah, we just got the numbers in, and you can see we continue to have a powerful hurricane with winds of about 180 miles per hour. It's, de it's down slightly, but obviously still a devastating Category 5 hurricane. And the pressure is up only slightly. This is still an extreme hurricane, about 300. 350 give or take miles from Jacksonville. Look at it cutting across Grand Bahama Island. Literally, the eye is going to move right across Grand Bahama Island tonight and hit Freeport here over just the next hour or two. Had its first landfall uh, early this afternoon, then another one about 2 o'clock, and now this one at 10 o'clock this evening on Grand Bahama Island. In fact, I'll zoom you on in and you'll see Freeport come into view. There it is. There's High Rock. And look at the eastern part of the Grand Bahama Island in the eye. You guys, the damage with an eye like this, it is literally scouring the surface of the earth along this island. It's a devastating hit for these northern uh, portions of the Bahamas. So a slight hesitation before it makes that turn to the north. This is a brand new updated track forecast. And you can see we're still in the cone of uncertainty, but only in the western edge now. I'll zoom you on in here. There's the turn just east of Fort Pierce where hurricane warnings are now in effect, staying to the east of Jacksonville by about 60 to 70 miles, but close enough that it meets the criteria for a hurricane watch along our coast. And that's one of the big changes. Hurricane watch to the Florida Georgia border. The storm has continued to slow. The hurricane is moving more slowly. And it's a category three hurricane now expected to be about 60 to 70 miles. Miles east of Jacksonville Wednesday afternoon, close enough for some major impacts, especially at the coast, Corey. Yeah, that's right, Mike. As uh, those numbers just coming in, a hurricane watch that we have seen been extended. High rip current risk expected uh, along the coast with high tides. That surfeit is going to build those waves massive with uh, what has been a very powerful storm, and it will still be a strong one just off our coast. It's going to be windy at the beaches, breezy inland. Those impacts are going to be less the farther inland you are. This graphic, it hasn't updated yet, but the hurricane. Hurricane watch that dark maroon box that extends all the way up, including the entire coast of northeast Florida, but not southeast Georgia. Also, the storm surge watch that box is going to be extended well to the north, including all of the northeast Florida coast. We're going to have to get in here and move that map up as we get the new warnings in, Mike. Yeah, and speaking of storm surge, Corey will show you the expected storm surge as well as local impacts and how Matthew three years ago was like or not like Dorian right now. 
and take a look at some video. It shows some of that utter devastation that Mike mentioned from Dorian in the Bahamas after it made landfall today. Three different landfalls. Every island seeing strong winds and storm surge. The Bahamas Information Service is reporting one death. Now, more video shows just how serious that flooding is. The water nearly at a car's window. The country's prime minister called today, quote, the most sad and worst day of my life. And we'll continue to monitor those images coming out of the Bahamas. Let's get you caught up on the very latest. Aside from that track, local mandatory evacuation started 8 a.m. in parts of St. John's, Duval, and Nassau counties. In Duval County, zones A and B should evacuate. You can see that's the coastal area, some of those low-lying areas, those flood-prone areas near rivers and creeks. Now, in St. John's County, zones A and B they need to evacuate. That includes the cities of St. Augustine and St. Augustine Beach, as well as some areas along the St. John's River. And let's take a look now for Nassau County tomorrow morning. That mandatory evacuation order will be issued for zones A, C, and F. You can see them highlighted here on this map in orange and blue and red. All right, again, a hurricane watch now in effect for Northeast Florida. In the last hour, mandatory evacuations were issued for everyone east of I-95 in Camden and Glynn counties. There are 24 shelters open or opening tomorrow in our area. We have some new video of a front-end loader at work on Jack's Beach, right next to people trying to enjoy some sand and sun today. It was pushing sand up on the dunes in an effort to reinforce them before the winds and surf from Dorian arrive. And take a look at some drone video. It shows that heavy surf hitting Jacksonville Beach here. This is this afternoon. It is not safe to be in the water. You see a few people walking right along the shoreline here. The beaches in Duval County will be closed starting in one hour until further notice. Action News Jack's Ben Becker is live at Jack's Beach for us tonight, and Ben. Those mandatory evacuations start for zones A and B tomorrow morning at 8. Tanika, that's right, and you can see why. Take a look at this. This has nothing to do with Dorian right now, but yet, massive waves, at least in, in respect that this is high tide. You can see just how high these waves are as we are along here at the Jacks Beach Pier. Uh, certainly not the kind of water you'll want to get into anytime tonight. And of course, tomorrow morning when you are not allowed to be on the beach starting at 8 a.m. Now, Ocean Rescue tells me that they will be flying a double red flag tomorrow. That means there are no guarantees that they will rescue you if you try to go on this water. Meantime, it's double trouble for local businesses and beachgoers who came to Jack's Beach for Labor Day weekend. High surf and high anxiety on Jack's Beach for Ashley Gibson. I wouldn't even get in there right now, definitely. It looks way too rough to be out there. Gibson says the ocean is out of the question on Labor Day. It comes as all swimming and surfing in Jack's, Atlantic, and Neptune beaches is banned starting at midnight. The party's been going deep into the night at the Tiki Bar. But it's not a packed dance floor. How much does this impact your Labor Day business? A lot. General Manager Fernando Meza tells me he will likely close tomorrow with the storm costing him about 50% of his normal Labor Day weekend business. Many people that are not working tomorrow are probably already packing up and going to another city or just hunkering down, how they say. Meantime, businesses like Petco and Trader Joe's have boarded up. Surfer Shelby Watford is ready to put away his board. Or is he? I'm going to stay out and I'm going to stay safe. But what's really going to happen? What's really going to happen? I don't know. We'll see in the morning. Well, we will see in the morning. By the way, curfew starts here at Jack's Beach, 10 p.m. tomorrow. Also, alcohol sales will be prohibited starting tomorrow as well. A lot of changes coming as Dorian makes its way to our area. Reporting live on Jack's Beach, Ben Becker, CBS 47, Action News, Jack's. The cities of Jacksonville Beach, Neptune Beach, and Atlantic Beach have announced a curfew will start Monday night at 10 until 6 the following morning every day until further notice. Also, alcohol sales will stop in both cities at 10 Monday night. Today in St. John's County, county crews dumped sand and rocks to form a barrier at the end of Porpoise Point. Their hope is it will prevent a lot of water from making its way into the neighborhood, which suffered during Hurricanes Matthew and Irma. Action News Jack, Bridget Matter joins us live in St. John's County in Davis Shores. That area is in the mandatory evacuation zone and has seen devastating flooding in the storm's past. Bridget, you found a woman who put plastic around her entire home. 
And John, I've never really seen anything like this before in all the times that we have covered strong storms. I'm going to give you a look at her house. She spent a few days doing this. She spent about $400 on that plastic that you're seeing. Also, these sandbags here, there are about 300 of them around her home. She's hoping this is going to be enough to keep water out if that flooding gets in, up into her home. We found Brittany Vidal wrapping her home in heavy duty plastic in the Davis Shores neighborhood. We just started out by doing six mil plastic all around the house. She's doing it with 300 sandbags and a lot of duct tape. I think we're only on roll three. As of right now, Vidal plans to ride out the storm. She and others who live in Davis Shores have dealt with major flooding in hurricanes Matthew and Irma. When a storm comes, neighbors here know the risks. Now we're getting a little scared, so it's it's a tough call. The neighborhood is considered Zone A. Zones A and B are made up of close to 149,000 people who were asked to evacuate. We saw people moving out with plans to leave. The question is, will this plastic house stand a chance? If it works, it's totally worth it. We'll have to wait and see. And the EOC said today that at 4 o'clock tomorrow, they're going to have another update similar to the one that they had today. They also told us to remind viewers that if you are in an evacuation zone and you decide to stay and you run into trouble, if it's too dangerous, first responders might not be able to get to you. For now, we're live in St. John's County, Bridget Matters, CBS 47 Action News Jax. Team coverage continues tonight with Action News Jax, Brittany Verner, and she looks at the plans to keep people in coastal Nassau County safe. County leaders in Nassau are calling for a mandatory evacuation in zones A, C, and F. This is a map of the zones. Zone A is marked in red. That's Amelia Island and other low lying flood prone areas. Zone C is in orange, and Zone F is marked here in blue. But some neighbors, like Margot Story, say they are staying put. I'm not worried about the surge or anything like that, water surge, so I'm, I'm not, I'm, I'm just going to stay. If anything happens, I'm staying. Margot Story has lived in Fernandina for more than a decade, so she's seen her share of hurricanes. Not scared at all. County leaders said they are able to provide shelter for more than 600 people in this community, and around 150 of those spaces are for people with special needs. In addition to the stated zones, anyone living in low-lying areas, mobile homes, or manufactured houses, or otherwise have concerns about their safety may also utilize our shelters. The county has already begun closing its beach access points, and they've given out more than 40,000 sandbags. Reporting in Nassau County, Brittany Verner, CBS 47, Action News Jax. Hurricane watch is extended to include coastal St. John's, Duval, and Nassau County. I'm Action News Jax, Chief Meteorologist Mike Burrish. As we track Dorian, the hurricane watch is now all the way to the Florida Georgia border, and the winds, the width of those winds, obviously critical as the eye approaches. I'll show this map to you in its entirety in the first alert forecast in minutes. Protecting the pets, the outpouring of support for the Jacksonville Humane Society. Evacuating the base, the efforts underway to get the Navy's expensive helicopters out of harm's way. And as we had to break, we want to show you another look at the devastation in the Bahamas right now. Cars, homes, property destroyed by the, this historic storm. As Dorian takes aim at Florida, Action News Jax and the First Alert Weather Team are keeping a watchful eye on the tropics. Chief Meteorologist Mike Burrish tracking Dorian's every move. This is the time to prepare. Download the First Alert Weather app and get real time radar, hourly forecast updates, and the latest track on Dorian. And on TV, we'll be working round the clock to bring you live updates and live coverage as the storm approaches. At Action News Jax, we're here for severe to keep you and your family safe. Keep the first alert weather forecast with you everywhere. Download the app today. Hey, who's your hero? Before you answer Superman, I gotta tell you, I don't mean those heroes. I'm talking about our local heroes. Do you know one? Beaver Toyota and Beaver Chevrolet want to recognize your local hero in a big way. This year, we will recognize 12 local heroes in our community and honor them with a brand new vehicle. 12 heroes will be getting 12 new vehicles. Let's give the recognition our heroes deserve. Visit localwowheroes.com to nominate and vote today. Let's wow our heroes. Summer rains, you know them well. Out of the clear blue, it's a sudden downpour, and bam, you've been sideswiped. Your car's a mess, you think you're okay, 
But who knows down the road? Before you leave the scene, call 1-800-ASK-GARY. For over the past 10 years, more than 150,000 Floridians have dialed 1-800-ASK-GARY to find them legal or medical help. From getting a same-day appointment, to transportation to the doctor, to an attorney coming to your home, call 1-800-ASK-GARY. Non-attorney spokesperson. From the couldn't be prouder to the, wait, did we just win her? Everyone uses their phone differently. That's why Xfinity Mobile lets you design your own data. Now you can share it between lines, mix with unlimited, and switch it up at any time. So you only pay for what you need. It's a different kind of wireless network designed to save you money. Save up to $400 a year on your wireless bill. Plus, get $250 back when you buy a new Samsung Note. Click, call, or visit a store today. What does it really cost to keep the laundry going? To stay cool? To keep the lights on? Find out with the new FPL Energy Analyzer. See how your home uses energy and how you can save at fpl.com slash take control. It's the Subaru A Lot to Love event at Jack Hanania's Subaru of Orange Park, giving you a nationwide lifetime warranty and one-year complimentary maintenance at Subaru of Orange Park. The first alert seven-day forecast on air, online, and on the go. Brought to you by ViStar. If you believe that having a live help call center that's open every day of the week is better, join ViStar. Action News Jacks tracking Hurricane Dorian 24 hours a day through the night tonight. This is new satellite video showing the storm churning over the Bahamas as it moves towards Florida's coast. Naval Station Mayport will start evacuating the base at 8 a.m. tomorrow. Helicopters start leaving the base and NAS Jacks today. Action News Jacks Courtney Cole shows us where the choppers are heading. We've been here all weekend, prepping really all week. Uh, we've been hatching the plan to get these aircraft out of here. Captain Teague Legans, the commanding officer of Helicopter Maritime Strike 40, says its Atlantic Strike Wing is launching between 60 to 70 helicopters total from NAS Jacks and Naval Station Mayport. And the captain of HSM 40 told me that there are 18 of these aircraft in his squadron. Seven of them will remain hangered. Uh, we're moving these helicopters. Uh, out of the area um, because at this point we're still unsure of the exact track of Dorian and it's not worth the uh, the risk to the helicopters. The GANS tells me the helicopters are being taken to Maxwell Air Force Base in Alabama and Norfolk, Virginia. So the last time that we moved uh, all our assets were for Hurricane Irma and Hurricane Matthew. Right now the GANS says there's no timeline of when they're going to bring the helicopters back. The most important thing is uh, we are taking precautions and we're getting out of here maybe what people would determine as a little bit early in advance of the storm. The GAN says he suggests everyone watching take the same type of early steps. Prep their houses and their families and make sure they're ready to go if they need to. Reporting at Naval Station Mayport, Courtney Cole, CBS 47 Action News, Jax. 4,500 National Guard troops are ready across Florida. The Florida National Guard is also getting ready ahead of Dorian. These are new this new video, rather, of members of the 146th Signal Battalion working on vehicles at the Armory in Jacksonville. Now certified, Jacksonville's most accurate weather forecast, Action News Jack's first alert weather. And certified broadcast meteorologist Corey Sima joining me here in the First Alert Weather Center. Corey, we have new watches that have just been issued. A lot coming down here as the track shifts, maybe a little bit, very slight adjustments in that 11 o'clock track from right. the Hurricane Center. Just a little bit east, and generally that would be good news, but it's a powerful hurricane and will be pretty strong when it's east of Florida, and that's why the watches have been extended in the orange. It's a tropical storm watch. Let's go ahead and take this full. There you go. Tropical storm watch as far inland is about Highway 301. Hurricane watch as far inland is I-95. Again, that means that in about 48 hours, give or take, you could have hurricane wind conditions and tropical storm wind conditions. Some of these may indeed, in the end, by early tomorrow morning, it wouldn't take very long, uh, would be extended into perhaps parts of southeastern Georgia. We also have a storm surge watch that goes up through coastal St. John's, Duval, and Nassau County, meaning the potential for storm surge in many cases at the coast, four to six feet, and the intercoastal. There's Dorian turning through the Bahamas quite literally it's just a devastating blow 1240 was the first uh, landfall in the Bahamas official one two o'clock Great Abaco Island and now a third one on the Great Bahama Island and it's just going to cut right across the island the Great Bahama Island right into Freeport it appears at this point to be tied at least in wind speed for the most intense hurricane to ever make landfall in the entire Atlantic Basin 
So here's that updated track, takes it just southeast of the coast of Florida, a little bit east of Jacksonville. We'll zoom you on in here, and there's the turn, a critical turn for especially southeast portions of Florida. But realize with a hurricane this large, this intense, boy, the wave battering here up and down the coast is going to be severe, likely more severe than Matthew, even though it's not as close to the coast as Matthew was. And then there's the point about 70 miles east of Jacksonville, its closest point Wednesday afternoon into Wednesday evening. So the wind field looks like this, making it up into southern St. John's County by 11 o'clock Tuesday evening, tropical storm force winds. By 6 o'clock Wednesday morning, the tropical storm force winds are making it up into the downtown Jacksonville area and much of the area east of I-95 to the coast by noon on Wednesday. Notice the hurricane force winds, not very far away, but staying offshore. And remember that west side, generally weaker as a whole anyway. So Matthew, that's bringing back a lot of uh, memory now with Dorian's track being quite similar east of Jacksonville, a cat two or three beach beating, no doubt. Now, the difference is, is that this is a much stronger hurricane closer to Florida, and that could mean especially big waves at our beaches. Possible that we'll have breakers of more than 20 feet. Some of the local impacts with Corey. Mike, we're breaking this down basically region by region, inland and coastal. This is the coastal communities, both northeast Florida and southeast Georgia. Winds 40 to 60 plus miles per hour, and there are those waves 15 to 20 foot plus. Storm surge 4 to 6 feet, and you can't forget about that rainfall either. Six to eight inches are forecast now for coastal areas. I-95 to Highway 301. This is in Florida. Those winds a little bit less, 20 to 40 plus. River surge. We can't forget about that with the river and creek flooding. Rainfall a little bit less as well. As we move inland in northeast Florida, winds 15 to 25 miles per hour. Rainfall a little bit less, like the wind, around one to four inches expected. Georgia coastal communities, 40 to 60 plus mile. Per Power winds, those waves again very high, 15 to 20 footers expected. Storm surge, three to six feet with that rainfall, four to seven inches. And as we move inland, southeast Georgia, less wind and less rain. Mike, around one to four inches expected. And as we look ahead over the next seven days, Corey, while we deal with Dorian, certainly, obviously, through Wednesday night, with still showers and storms well ahead of the system, not affected from uh, directly affected by Dorian here Monday and Tuesday. And then by Thursday and Friday on the back side of the storm, we break. Out into sunshine and it turns hot right into next weekend. All of your latest first alert weather information at actionnewsjacks.com. Download for free the first alert weather app. Garrett Beanbaugh here first thing in the morning. I'll be on the radio side, News 104.5 WOKV. Evacuations are already underway to our south. The counties that are sending people our way. Devastation in the Bahamas. Another look at the damage from Dorian on the island chain. Weather is brought to you by Farah and Farah, protecting you and your family. Helping people never gets old. When we're able to get them compensated for everything they went through, that is the mission and the goal, is to make sure that the client's better off than they were when they came into our door. Farrah and Farrah, here for you, here for good. Get ready for supercharged savings. The Auto Nation flash sale is now through Labor Day. Rush in for brand new Ford F-150s with 0% financing or up to 12000 off. in Labor Day at Auto Nation Ford. Say goodbye to check cashing lines. I can never see myself standing in a line at a bank again. Get your own Nespen Visa prepaid and enroll in direct deposit. I get paid two days before everyone else. Your money loads onto your Nespen card. Shop online, pay bills, buy groceries. Use anywhere. Visa debit card is accepted. I use it every day for every purchase. No credit check, no interest fees, no late fees, because this is not a credit card. I use my NetSpin card for everything. Pick up the NetSpin Visa prepaid card at any of these participating retailers near you. Most people think a button is just a button. That a speaker is just a speaker. Or that the journey can't be the destination. Most people haven't driven a Lincoln. It's the final days of the Lincoln Summer Invitation event. For a limited time, lease a Lincoln MKC for $289 a month or choose 0% APR only at your Lincoln dealer. Look at these. 
They're valuable Rooms to Go Labor Day bonus coupons in your newspaper or online at roomstogo.com. Good now through Monday, Labor Day. Coupons that save you big money on great looking furniture in every category. And now is the perfect time to shop and get extra savings with your bonus coupons. Plus, to make buying easier, finance interest free until March 2024. That's now through Monday only. Labor Day bonus coupon savings at Rooms to Go. Get Labor Day savings at AutoNation's 72-hour flash sale. For a limited time at AutoNation Ford, drive brand new 2019 Escapes for just $18,991. Hurry! These savings end in flash. And Labor Day at AutoNation Ford. The final roster is set. Now 16 games stand in the way of a Jaguar playoff rock. The Action Sports Jacks 2019 Jaguars preview special. Wednesday at 9 only on CBS 47. Sponsored by Farrah and Farrah. Mandatory evacuations started this afternoon in Palm Beach, Martin, and St. Lucie counties. Evacuations are planned to start Monday in Brevard and Volusia counties, along with counties closer to our home. Health First Cape Canaveral uh, Hospital in Cocoa Beach began evacuating dozens of patients today. And there are several new videos popping up on social media showing some of the damage there in the Bahamas. Here is one image there from the Abaco Islands. Um, you can see the rushing water. Power lines appear to be down, a lot of damage in the Bahamas, and we'll start to see more of those images come out tomorrow morning. Dozens of people showed up to bring shelter pets into their homes for the week. The Jacksonville Humane Society calls these people stormtroopers. They all agreed to keep pets until Friday to make space in the shelter for other animals. The Jacks Humane Society will be open from noon to 4 tomorrow if you can be a temporary foster home. Nothing brings us together quite like breakfast at McDonald's. Your morning starts here. Try the new sausage gravy and biscuit with country style gravy. It's Jack Hanania's All the Way Labor Day sales event going on now at all Hanania Automotive Group locations. We're going all the way to give you the best deals on our huge selection of new and pre owned vehicles. Drive away in the world's top automotive brands with lifetime warranties available. Even if you don't buy one of ours, you still get up to four grand above book value for yours to show you we're going all the way through Labor Day. Here's what Calais Campbell has to say The savings are this big at the Hanania Automotive Group. A major storm is approaching, and as soon as the storm moves on, JEA will be the first to move in, beginning with critical infrastructure, hospitals, shelters, and police and fire stations. Next, we'll put all of our resources into restoring power to neighborhoods and businesses, and we won't stop until every customer's outage is resolved, because we know there's more than power on the line. To help us better communicate with you, update your contact info today at JEA.com. At Haverty's, we know a mattress is more than something you sleep on. It's something you live on. <laughs> and we want it to be perfect. Get the most out of your mattress with Haverty's Labor Day Mattress Sale. Our experts will help you choose from a wide selection of top brands and we'll match any price. Save up to $600 on Serta with Sky Sleep Systems. And save up to $800 on Beautyrest Black with Sky Sleep Systems. Haverty's. Life looks good. Yeah, my business is growing, and I think it's time for me to start giving my employees what they expect. Healthcare is very important, and they deserve the best benefits. Mm, I don't know, though. Is this the right time? They do so much for me, it's only right that I do this for them. Because taking care of business is taking care of my employees. Now more than ever, Florida Blue offers personalized health solutions for your changing business needs. Because no one knows better what you need than someone who's local, like you. Visit your local agent or call for real-time assistance. Good for people, good for business. Now get a Santa Fe with 0% for 72 months or $2,500 cash back. It's the final days of the Hyundai Epic Summer Clearance. See your Hyundai dealer now through September 3rd. Nothing brings us together quite like breakfast at McDonald's. Your morning starts here. Try the new sausage gravy and biscuit with country style gravy. Harold and Harold is proud to sponsor closed captioning. If you've been injured in an accident, we will make decisions together, like we're family, not like you're a number. That's how you should be treated, and that's how we treat every client. Harold and Harold, don't settle for less than you deserve.
Right, Mike? Tracking Dorian, of course, with that movement just a little bit east of Florida over the next couple of days. So a hurricane watch is now in effect for coastal uh, south, uh, northeast Florida and inland a tropical storm watch as far inland as, as Highway 301 and a storm surge watch at the coast. But a coastal flood watch is in effect for the St. John's River from downtown all the way through Putnam County. Point being, there will be high water all up and down the St. John's River in addition to right at the coast, highest at the coast. But there will be impacts along the St. John's River as well. There are the watches that have just come out. They've just been issued for northeastern Florida, including Metro Jacksonville. A hurricane watch at the coast and in, inland a bit and more inland is a tropical storm watch. It's probably just a matter of time before we go with tropical storm warning is how I think this will unfold over the next couple of days and also eventually been pushed will be pushed a little bit northward into southeast parts of Georgia. And a lot of those evacuations go into effect tomorrow morning at 8 o'clock. So check actionnewsjacks.com for that. Mm -hmm. And join us tomorrow morning for all of your overnight news, weather, and traffic updates. It starts at 4.30 on Fox 30. All right, what now for Florida State? Another embarrassing loss puts the coach on the hot seat already at one game. Brent and Dan talking Knowles next. Shop the Belk Labor Day sale with storewide savings on everything you love. $49.99 bedding sets, women's shoes starting at $29.99. Plus, spend $30 and get diamond earrings for $29.99. Shop now at Belk and Belk.com. Peace of mind, it's one of the most important things we can have, and sometimes it's the most elusive, especially if you're dealing with legal issues. I'm Ellie Anajar from the law offices of Anajar and Levine. We offer peace of mind with responsive legal help. We practice more than just personal injury law. Our team is ready to assist you in virtually any legal matter, 24 hours a day, seven days a week. At Anajar and Levine, we don't just practice law, we practice what we love. Call for a free consultation. And keeps it there longer with lock in moisture technology. Skin is petal smooth because your best skin starts with Olay. For the first time since announcing his run for president, Joe Biden returns to Colbert. New this week. Wednesday, double eviction week continues. <laughs> With the most destructive. We're putting our war paint on. House trashing. <laughs> veto competition ever. My mind is like. And Thursday, buckle up for a full week of Big Brother. Yikes! In one night. I'm just scared. Like, I feel scared. New Big Brother CBS Wednesday. As Hurricane Dorian pounds the Bahamas, some in Northeast Florida are preparing to get out of the storm's path. Be prepared. I'm about it, but you need to leave. While others are protecting their property. I think we're only on roll three. Using anything they can to protect their homes. Bye. This is Action News Jack special coverage, Tracking Dorian. And just a few minutes ago, the latest update on Hurricane Dorian was released right before the 11 o'clock hour. The biggest changes right now, we are under a hurricane watch and a storm surge watch with the storm moving ever so slightly off our coast, a little farther east, according to Action News Jack's first alert chief meteorologist Mike Bursch, who will be breaking down the changes here in just a moment. The Action News Jack's team is standing by to bring you vital information on local evacuation orders, school closings, and curfews. Good evening. I'm John Bachman. And I'm Tanika Hughes. We are going to head over to our first alert weather center with Action News Jack's first alert chief meteorologist Mike Burrish. Breaking down the latest 11 p.m. advisory. Yeah, we just got the numbers in, and you can see we continue to have a powerful hurricane with winds of about 180 miles per hour. It's de it's down slightly, but obviously still a devastating Category 5 hurricane. And the pressure is up only slightly. This is still a extreme hurricane, about 350 give or take miles from Jacksonville. Look at it cutting across Grand Bahama Island. Literally, the eye is going to move right across Grand Bahama Island tonight. And hit Freeport here over just the next hour or two. Had its first land.